What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And do not forget to stop by CMPKits.com, get yourself a copy of Trap Chords, 40 amazing trap chord progressions, no basic baby trap chord progressions, real awesome <laughs> complex chords and bonus they're in mpc format um please follow me on instagram if you want to get in touch with me real quick the dms are always open always willing to respond to connect with you guys and follow the spicy sundays podcast on spotify for all the sauce now today we're going to be working inside the npc software and i want to show you guys how we go about arranging um beats inside npc beats and uh what we can kind of do to make the process um more streamlined and easier for folks who are coming over from a doll wanting to get into the npc world because um there's so many advantages to working with the npc software especially it's it, especially now that it's free especially now that it's free <laughs> like what do you got to lose bro but you will get aggravated because because it looks completely different than everything that you're used to looking at and it, that'll force people to want to to want to dip but um so what i've done is i've made is i is i've made three sequences um for my track i had the one i was just playing Now, me personally, I have an NPC, so so kind of the, the way that the way that I make beats is, you know, I'll take is I'll take a sample and and, um, you know, I'll make I, I'll make one sequence um, and then and then I'll copy that sequence. You know, once I have the drums down and I will re chop the sample in a different way, kind of keep the same drums. And that's an easy way to have these different uh, these different melodic forces um, within within your beat. And it makes for, you know, it makes for a more complex, interesting beat, but you're still keeping the simplicity of of the trap patterns and the bounce of your drums and everything like that. It's a really simple and fun way to work. But when it comes to laying it out and getting a song out of it um, in the MPC software, that's where a lot of people are going to run into a roadblock so the first thing that you want to do is just understand how to move around npc beat software and um if you want to see something right if you want to see something you have to change your view um and so you want to go to this these three lines and go to the view menu and what do we want to view what we want to view is we want to view a different mode uh the arrangement mode inside mpc ever since you know ever since the uh uh, the you know the 90s when you know when these things were you know what you had to make beats in uh was called song mode right so here are your different modes you have track view program edit view and what you're going to notice is if you um if you look here the way that the way that mpc is laid out their different modes is with it is with a control is with a controller or command modifier so that's good to know right so if i hold down command and i press you know i press one two three like like now i have all of the different all of the different views for um the npc software and this kind of opens up the entire software to you because because now you can you know now you can see what you're doing okay it's all it's all right here for you so this is so this is awesome um so what i'm gonna do is if you press control equal that takes you that takes you into song mode right um and you you kind of want to look at you kind of want to look at three things here it's going to come out like this uh, when when you first look at it i personally i don't need to see the project information so so i mute it right um so here is here's going to be your list of sequences here is your here's your pads uh me personally i don't use the pads but a cool um, you know, if, if you're a drag and drop kind of guy, a cool uh, thing about the pads is you can just, is you can just kind of drag the sequences in like this, you know, that, you know, that's my intro. This is the beginning of my hook. I'm going to, I'm going to continue my hook, right? Cause these are, we're in double time. So these four bars really mean two. 
Um, so there's, you know, so, so there's my hook. I'm going to get into the first verse here. There's the first four of the first verse. There's the second four of the first verse. Uh, we're going to do like 12 bar verse vibes and we'll bring it back to sequence one, you know, and then sequence two, two, two to go to the hook. Right. And, um, you know, when you go ahead when you go ahead and look at look up here you see like oh that that's nice i have like a nice linear representation of of what my song's going to sound like let's go ahead and listen to it now the first thing the, the first thing that i'm that i'm feeling is i'm like man why did i do that i uh, uh i i don't want i don't want the song to start with an 808 like that was like you know starting with the 808 that was cool when um that was cool when uh you know when i was just vibing in you know in my npc but i want to have you know i want to mute this um the way the way that this works and this will frustrate you so just so just wrap your mind around this is that you can't just go in here and highlight it and click the midi notes like even though that's what you want to do that's your instinct that hey, you can't do it so what you need to do is you want to go back home right so click that home button and you want to go to you want to go to your sequence and um you see that you think about it like what do i want to do i want to duplicate this sequence so in order to duplicate the sequence you need to go to edit you need to go to sequence and copy right and you want to copy the contents of sequence one over to a brand new unused sequence right boom and you take this guy call it intro do it now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to my bass track which is which is this one right here and I'm just and I'm just gonna delete these notes. All right, boom, 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 done. Now, if I press Command equals, I come back here, and you see I have this intro right here. See how that see how that changes over. Boom. Right. So now so now when I so now when I start from the top, I have this. better right now similarly just like just like we had to do you know, just like we had to do, um, you know, to make a change here. I, I always like, this is just a part of like my arrangement flow. I always add like a drop here in the, in the drums. That's, that's just something that I always do. It's, it's part of what I do. So, um, it, again, just to show you guys how you would accomplish something like that, you, you just come here, um, and, and you just kind of get into this flow. Um, when you, when you're doing your arrangements, I want to edit, I want to edit the sequence and if you get and what's and what's awesome is if you're if you're kind of thinking about getting an mpc and you don't have an mpc once you get used to using the software like this once you actually get the mpc like you'll be you'll be able to work in standalone because what you do that that's what i like about the mpc software the mpc software is the same software that is in your mpc the same thing the same shit so if you get used to the names and stuff uh th this will this will be really easy um so if i go to sequence right i go to this one make sure it's on two and i go to edit all right sequence two on to here and i'll call this all right that just makes sense to me calling it end drop. And I know that I know that on the fourth bar of this, I'm not going to want any 808s. I'm not going to want any drums whatsoever. And this is where like if you wanted to like put a snare roll or, you know, something like that, th this is this is where you would make those changes, right? 
Um, you know, boom. So you got so you got all that. Now we could go. We could go back. But you see, you put it again, you put it in right there. Now, you know, that sequence is there. You see, you see, it's represented by this, by this blank space. And that is how you, you know, change your, change your mind to work into, into the NPC workflow. And, um, you know, again, if you're, you know, if you're fast than another DAW and, um, you know, this is, you know, this, it, it'll kind of be like swimming in jello in the beginning, but again, uh, me personally, in my in my personal opinion, uh, to me, the advantages of working, you know, with an MPC piece of hardware, especially right. But and working within the MPC software, the actual workflow, it, it makes you it's such a different workflow that it'll it, it'll make you create in a different way that I personally find fun, exciting and, uh, you know, just 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 a more um authentic uh, form of creating hip hop um as far as as far as just getting into the vibe man so it's a cmp with craft master production studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one <laughs>